President Trump is the ultimate VIP. And experts Newsy spoke with say parts of his COVID treatment plan differ from a hospitalized U.S. patient with similar symptoms. I always have to say that the care that the president is going to get is going to be different from what you and I would get. The fact that he's not getting hydroxychloroquine suggests that doctors are holding their own and holding firm and most of what he's getting makes a lot of sense. But there is always the risk of overtreatment with the ultimate VIP. Research shows celebrities, politicians, even doctors and nurses may get specialized treatment. That can lead to more tests and interventions like surgery or medications, which are sometimes unneeded. Doctors may also shy away from asking VIP patients the really tough questions. Let's break it down by each treatment the president received. First, dexamethasone. The steroid has been around since the 50s and is available in most ERs and hospitals around the country. But doctors have used it traditionally for coronavirus patients with cases more severe than what we've been told about President Trump. For us, if you've had symptoms at least seven days and you're requiring supplemental oxygen, we will give you dexamethasone. Dr. Kalia Gates is a pulmonary and critical care specialist at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago. At her hospital, a patient's need for oxygen is what determines if they get the drug. The same stands true for remdesivir. At Northwestern, a patient's need for oxygen is what determines if they get the drug. But many hospitals are reserving the treatment for only the sickest patients. The HHS just stopped allocating the $3,000 plus antiviral on October 1st, saying that the current supply exceeds demand. There is an allotment of remdesivir, so there's a little bit of play there. And you won't get the antibody cocktail President Trump was given if you're hospitalized for COVID-19. It's experimental and not approved. Under an FDA program called Compassionate Use, a doctor requests permission for just one patient, and the FDA says they must determine several things, including if the patient has a serious or life-threatening condition, and if giving it compromises research. This Compassionate Use is not a system that's intended for widespread distribution. I have a feeling we're probably gonna now be maybe inundated with people wanting uh, to get it, and, and it's just not possible for various reasons. And lastly, aftercare. The president's doctors say they plan to monitor him constantly and will give him his last IV treatment of remdesivir Tuesday night at the White House, which has a medical facility equipped to do so. The care for COVID-19 patients coming home varies case by case, but for the thousands of Americans who have recovered after the hospital, it looks more like this resting and slowly gaining strength back. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, Denver.